When given a value with a total, define the variables. Make an equation for the number. And make an equation for the value. Defining the variables is probably the most complicated part at this point in application of systems because you have to recognize that it represents a number and not an actual value. If Scott has $2.25 in his pocket made up of quarters and dimes, then we have to write quarters and dimes. Q and D represent the number of quarters and the number of dimes Scott has. If there are 12 coins, how many of each does he have? Notice that since we know that he has dimes and quarters, and we also know that he has 12 of them, we can write Q plus D equals 12 because we know that Q is the number of quarters and D represents the number of dimes. From here, we can write another equation. This one states the values for the number of quarters and the value for the number of dimes. We know that a quarter is worth 25 pennies and we know a dime is worth 10 pennies. So this represents the value of the money in his pocket. Since he has $2.25, it represents 225 pennies. Now we have a system of equations. If we multiply the first equation by negative 10, we can rewrite the system like this. Negative 10Q minus 10D is equal to negative 120. And our second equation remains the same. This allows us to add the two equations together and the D terms divide or add to zero. We're left with 15Q is equal to 105. If we divide by 15 on both sides, we get Q is equal to 7. Since we know that Q plus D is equal to 12, and we know that Q is now 7 quarters, we could subtract 7 from both sides and discover that D is equal to 5. So there are seven quarters and five dimes. In example two, we know that 105 people attended a con concert and tickets for adults cost $2.50 while tickets for children cost $1.75. And total receipts for the concert were $228. We know there were children and adults. C is going to represent the number of children at the concert. And A is going to re represent the number of adult adults at the concert. Since we know that the number of adults plus the number of children 
equals the total number of people attended, which they said was 105, we can write this equation. We also know that if adults cost $2.50 to get in, and there were a certain number of adults, plus we know that children cost 175 times the number of children, this would give us the total value or the total amount of money made at the concert on tickets, which was $228. Now we have a system of equations. From here, we could multiply the first equation by some value that would allow us to have one of our terms drop out. Let's multiply by negative 175. We could just as easily multiply by negative 250 and our a's would drop out. Multiplying through the negative 175, we would get one, negative 175a minus 175c is equal to negative 183.75. The second equation remains the same. From here, we add like terms in the two equations. This gives us 0.75a equals 44.25. Dividing by 0.75 on both sides, we get a is equal to 59. If we know 59 is the number of adults that attended and altogether the adults plus the children equaled 105 people in the concert, we could say 59 plus children equals 105. Subtracting 59 from both sides, we get C is equal to 46. That means there were 59 adults and 46 children at the concert.